From the Phantom of the Old Opera House. To Multi Anchor Day. We've got the scoop. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Friday, November 4th, and as you can see, there's four of us angry today. Coincidence? I think not. Well, obviously, but yeah, we hope we're making this a weekly thing, and if everything works out, well, we hope you all like it. So today isn't the best broadcast, just, just blame Juan over here, it's his fault. Oh. And please be nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's move on to some birthday shoutouts. So if today is your birthday, then... Happy birthday! You share your birthday with Ralph Macchio. He, his fame rose when he starred in the classic 80s film, The Karate Kid. You know, like the OG one, not that tragic one with Jaden Smith. But not only that movie, but he also starred in The Outsiders where he played John, the role of Johnny Cage. Mm. You also share your birthday with Sean Combs. Also known as Diddy P, Diddy, and Puff Daddy. He is a Grammy Award winning hip hop mogul whose debut album No Way Out went seven times platinum and whose song I'll Be Missing You became a number one Billboard hit. He's also known for being a part of Bad Boy Records, standing alongside Biggie, Lil Kim, and Faith Evans. I have a thing which is uh, let's just start with some music history. Oh, okay, yeah, that's one of my favorite albums, to be honest. Sure. So, it is. All music from the 50s is dead people singing to you. <laughs> Mike, is that true? Anyways, so in 1989, Roxette scored their second U.S. number one single with Listen to Your Heart, a number six hit in the U.K. the following year. Um, who? Mm, Mike, fight me, because Roxette's like a 80s and 90s classic, so, and you can actually understand her lyrics, unlike some musicians nowadays, I won't name any, so have several seats. Uh, I only want to see that seat. Well, you're not going to want that seat once I drag you out of it. So, are you guys in a fight? You guys better not fight. We're in live podcast, you guys. Uh, I don't do it. Are we? I don't know. You are you gonna swing me with those, those gigantic pole cans? I might. No, I actually might. <laughs> we'll see. All right, all right. Let's just move on to some music history. And in 1984, Prince played the first of seven nights at the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. At the start of his 87th date North American Purple Rain tour. The Audi marked the live debut of his new band, The Revolution. What? All right, let's switch it up and talk about some school news. True. So, are you still here? So, oh, sorry, ladies, yeah, if you it? participated in a fall sport or not, you're welcome to go try out for girls basketball yeah. for the girls basketball program Monday through Friday, October 31st to November 4th in the gym from 4 p.m from 4 to 6 p.m. We're ready to show your skills. If you have any questions, see Coach Liz in the gym after school. Uh, this is for all you seniors. If you guys haven't already completed or need uh, to complete your financial aid application by Tuesday, November 8th, stop by the Higher Ed Center to fill your second opportunity to win the 2000 California Student Aid Commission Scholarship. <coughs> but Mike, you haven't even done yours, man. Either. You what have you done you yours, man? I'm, I've probably... I've had it up to here with you, Santiago Fernandez. I'm just saying the truth. And David, you, s you haven't done yours either, man. Okay. Please stop talking. <laughs> but anyways. Just shut up, Santiago. Drama put on a play yesterday called The Phantom of the Old Opera House. And here is a little sneak peek on what you guys missed out on. And I hope. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Marcos. We're here at the TCC where our drama production will be um, playing Phantom of the Old Opera House. And now let's take a look. If you didn't go yesterday, well, they'll be having another show today. So make sure to just go out and sh show love. Anyways, let's move on to some sports. <laughs> <laughs> today our football team is going to be playing against Anaheim, and it's a privilege out, so... Oh, uh, it's a wide out, out sorry. And, and here's Jenny with an interview of them. Hello, students. My name is Jennifer Rodriguez, and I'm here with three of the football varsity guys. And the first question is, how are you guys? Um, are you guys playing against Anaheim, and it's your last game, right? Yeah, well, um, it's our last uh, senior game for us uh, seniors. So uh, we're uh, trying to get out there, knock them off uh, the playoffs. So we're gonna go out there and play with heart. Um, leading up to tonight's game, how are you guys feeling? Well, ever since the beginning of this week, like, everybody's been pretty anxious, especially all seniors. We've been talking about it's the last game. Season hasn't been going, like, how we hope it will go. But today we're all, like, pumped up and feeling kind of nervous. But let's take it to the, to the field today, and hopefully we take that victory and take Anaheim off the playoffs. That's how we want. Well, we've done uh, this week. Uh, we've been uh, working hard out in the field. And, you know, we're feeling nervous, but we've got to go out there and just execute and uh, – do our rules, do what we got to do. Like they said, um, us seniors, we should be the ones that are like mostly nervous today because it's like our last game and 
it's like really r- really nerve wracking. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Do you guys have any new techniques or skills? Well, every week is new techniques that we have to learn. Like every offense, every school that we play has a different offense, has a different difference. So we have to ac- accommodate ourselves to like what kind of defense they play, what kind of offense they play. So for this week, Anaheim has like it, it almost has the same defense that we have. So it's I mean offense that, th- that we have. So it's kind of the same, but we have there's some kind of kind of tricks that we have to play with and just like uh, Ebertine said, we have to play by rules, keep on our mans and keep on our zones. That's all I gotta say. Do you have any skills or techniques? Well, we uh, every every week we uh coach puts them some new plays. You know, we're hopefully gonna get out there and uh, narrow them down and get them get in the end zone. Um, we we added some new plays, which I really like because some of our players are gonna show like what they're really made of, and I just like the plays that are gonna come out today in today's game. Thank you guys, and hope you guys come and support. And today's a whiteout game, and back to the desk. Our cross country will be going to CIF prelims on November 12th. And if you haven't heard, well, well, vol- volleyball took a, a devastating loss yesterday. But either way, they had a wonderful season. They made it this far, and they should feel really proud of themselves no matter what. So I'm proud of you guys. So we want to introduce a new segment for our, our multi anchor day, and it's called Hot, Hot Topics. Topics. <laughs> So you guys, on Wednesday the Cubs won the World Series. <laughs> now, isn't it a bit odd that they won, like they said, they predicted in Back to the Future too? Like, what do y'all think? Is it like coincidence or conspiracy? Conspiracy. Well, I feel like that too. All I know is that the Simpsons predicted um, Trump winning, so I hope it's and a 9/11. coincidence. And 9/11. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's too much of a coincidence. So here's hoping it's a coincidence, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. So the next one is also. Um, Oh, also, okay. uh, yeah. this week, Vine announced that they're shutting, they're shutting down their doors for good, and Vine's gonna be gone. So, good. I don't know. Um, I think it, it yeah. I think this is a little past due, but I feel like there was nothing I mean, special to I'm that. I'm gonna miss King Bash though. He was Except King Bash is kind of trash. Mean, all that app brought was like untalented people onto the team. So, trash. whoever said you were talented, David? I never said I was either. Yeah. But, uh, uh, they're famous for like six second videos. So now on to the end of this broadcast. We're gonna go to our advice part. So now we took this advice from one of our peers. And anyone can send send in advice and of course it'll all be hundred percent anonymous. You can send in you can send it into our Instagram at the underscore inside scoop. I knew we had one, <laughs> but okay. We recommend you try and not use real names if it involves more than you. All right, let's get started then. So without further ado, um, it's time for Ask the Inside Scoop. <laughs> nice. This, All right, that's, that's a good title card. <laughs> All right, now this one is, this girl. Ha- this one comes in saying, this girl has a crush on me. I've told, I, I've told, I'm not interested, and I've told her that I'm not interested at all, but she still doesn't understand. What do I do? What well, do well, 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 haven't we all had this, this situation? I haven't. Can't relate. Really, sorry. I mean, <laughs> Santi, what do you have to say about this? I think you have a little experience in this. Yes, yeah, it's 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 um, This broadcast is coming to an end. No, it's not. Well, what we're is giving what? advice. No, we're you giving you advice. You, you can't just dodge this on you. You have to answer the can't. question. Well, this one well, pretty well. I can't wait to do this no, again, guys. No, okay, uh, how about I'll, I'll, okay. I say it's better to be straightforward than to lead girls on. It is. And honestly, if she doesn't leave you alone, just block her. Like, block her. Just her block her. She'll probably, she'll get and if she gets hurt, she'll get over it. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah. I guess. But well, good luck to whoever you are. God be with you. Anyways. Kind of. Uh, so but yeah. Stop leaving in mints, you guys. That's just. So. Um, Dude, I'm sorry. I dropped the drink, man. Mm, Don't worry. I'll clean it up, man. I'm, I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, daddy. Uh, Good thing I'm a magician, too, huh? Oh, tacky. <laughs> Alright, so. <laughs> anyways. Anyways, don't be, be a donkey. donkey. Be nice, nice to each, each other. other. And, rock, <laughs> and rock on like your. And rock on like my wife. Bye! Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.